Starting off with this. For the love of all that is holy, the shuttle run has to go. It's like we haven't had the shuttle run for years, and now we need to have it in every stage, in every facet of every workout, because test, workout, workout, test, whatever. It doesn't matter! There have been so many shuttle runs, and everybody has had them tested, and I'm done with it. I'm tired of this, Grandpa! Other than that, I love the age group online semifinal. That's too damn bad! I hate the way that the graphics team lays out the workouts. I can't stand trying to digest them on the back end or wherever you view them on CrossFit, but I put them the way that I can look at them. And once I did that and I started to soak the whole thing in, I really, really liked them. Here's why. Rewind a decade. About the time that I started CrossFit. Hey, go do a set of 50 thrusters. 95 for the men and 65 for the women. Let's just say a set of thrusters. Whoever finishes the 50 fastest wins. Okay, uh, start off with a set of 10 and then blow up and see how you can do it. Maybe do a set of five, a set of three, a set of three, and then all of a sudden you do the CrossFit program for a little while. Maybe two, three months later, you're able to do sets of five the whole way through and it's awesome. And then you do the whole CrossFit program for another couple years. And then you're doing maybe sets of 15. You go, oh, how am I gonna break this thing up? Maybe I'm gonna go. 20, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, and I'm gonna be able to get through the 50, but that's more than 50. It doesn't matter! I figured it out because I know how to win every CrossFit workout now. You got to the point where it was who could do the freaking thing unbroken. Who can do it? 50 thrusters, who can do it unbroken? And if you can't do it unbroken, well, then you're not gonna be going on to the next stage. Hey! Whether it be the semifinals, the regionals, the CrossFit games. And then almost everybody was able to do it unbroken. No, 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 no. And then people like Matt Fraser came in and everyone's going to say, Wait, 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 wait. He's an Olympic weightlifter. His muscle fiber type allows him to squat quicker, but really he's just 5'4". Andrew hates the HWPO gym and Matt Fraser and his height. Is that what you think? You think? No. He's just really, really good at squatting and he's short. It can be both. So you're telling me there's a chance. But the only way that anybody could potentially try to keep up with him, and this is what happened in the world, is everyone was already going unbroken. Write that down, write that down! So CrossFit became the sport of how do you minimize the amount of time you spend doing those 50 thrusters while doing them unbroken? See, as you can see. Do you see where I'm going here? Did you get it? Where 10 years ago, everyone was just chipping their way through it. That's why no one will remember your name. Everyone adapted to the point where it became the sport of fractions of a second. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. And what some people started to do is not squat low enough, or maybe they keep the bar out in front of their body on a thruster, because then you could pull it down and you could go quicker. But when you say pull the bar down, what really happens is you never really lock the the bar out, which is a pressing motion, uh -huh. because everyone's trying to fight for those fractions of a second. Winning's winning. Workouts, tests, like this, fix all of that. I th think, you think? Here's why. With the exception of this stupid shuttle run crap, and with the exception of the fact that we no longer row for calories, everything's for meters, and the women don't get a separate number, while biologically they can't row as quick as the men, so the test is all kind of wonky. The double under is back, you're looking at test one, you go, okay, some sort of aerobic test. I don't like the final round, it's a transition fest. I think if you make this a triple three, for example, thousand meters on the row or a hundred double unders, and sure, throw in a set of 15 shuttle runs, 20 shuttle runs, whatever, 20, 20, 20 shuttle runs, three rounds. It's simple, it's clean, the graphics look cool, everybody can digest it just like that, and then you eliminate this crazy badness and that round of 25 double unders, but that's me being picky. I like to test how it is. Immediately upon finishing, you get into a heavy barbell, which is worth half Half the amount of points as the test previous. And I think I like it. I, I think. As if I recall, there was a handstand hold that led up to the 2020 CrossFit Games. Very similar setup where you had to stay in the box, you can walk around, there's no way Hip and Steel makes his way out alive. <laughs> that worked out. And yeah, I guess I'm talking about workout 3B at this point, but 3A and 3B are the two tests that are worth 50 points here. One of them is AMRAP snatches for three minutes, 225 for the men, 155 for the women. And yeah, I'm only talking about the 35, 39, 40, 44, 45 through 49 age groups along with the 16, 17 year olds. Everyone who's on those other age groups, if you're paying attention, it's still heavy for you, right? And are you holding a handstand? Let's just check to make sure that you're holding a handstand as 
as well. I guess so. Doesn't say anywhere that you're doing anything else. Okay, but we'll come back to that. Just thinking about these first two workouts, A and B, I think Sam Dancer's gonna crush the entire competition, by the way. That's a huge bitch. No one stands a chance, not even Froning. Not a chance against Sam Dancer on these tests. If the CrossFit Games look anything like this, my fingers hurt. He's gonna wish he stayed in retirement. Mm. Anybody else's fingers hurt? I kind of like the idea of going directly into that snatch because a lot of people are just going to be messing up for the first minute. And it also, in a way, punishes people for going too quick. So you got to decide if you want to go as quick as you can on the freaking part A because then you're going to be a little bit messed up if you go too quick going into those snatches and it's going to affect your score there. And there might be people, and I wonder, there will probably be people who are sandbagging the first part who do better on the snatches. It'll be interesting to see the way that shakes out, but I'm a fan of it. Test two. This one's also interesting. I almost think Adrian Bosman was looking at the note and he goes, hey, this whole choose your own adventure thing is kind of neat. How, how could we change this workout? I bet it was something like a five minute ham rep of five thrusters and five ring muscle ups. And he goes, you know what? Um, that, that, that's a good idea. We're going to let them choose however many reps they want to do. But then someone's just going to do a five minute ham rep of muscle ups. Make a minimum work requirement of 15 reps on both the thruster and on the ring muscle up. Now, I can tell you the way that the winner is going to do this thing is they're going to knock out the 15 ring muscle ups and then they're just going to do a four minute and 15 second AMRAP of thrusters at 135 for the men and 95 for the women. I would bet that there is going to be a woman out there who gets like 20 reps a minute on that thruster. Gets the ring muscle ups out of the way. Anybody who's going back and forth on those is out of their freaking mind. You're gonna hammer the muscle ups and then you're just gonna do thrusters to get the biggest score possible and that's the way it goes. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. But I like the test. But from what I just said right there, maybe you should have had a muscle up buy-in followed by thrusters for time. Fill the five minutes. But again, that's me. Test 3A. This is one of those workouts where you look at it and you go, oh no. Oh no. It's like DT, but it's heavier. Finally, they fixed the weights. I was yelling about this in the open. It was 185, 125. They finally got the female weights at 135 here. Seven deadlifts, five cleans, and three shoulder to overhead. Nobody's gonna be squat cleaning that from what I could possibly imagine. Call them power cleans, don't. But it reminds me of Macho Man, I think is the name of the workout. And again, I brought him up earlier, Fraser, someone who dominated that workout, it's barbell, barbell, barbell. People are going to be dying doing this thing. It's not gonna be pretty. Two minutes on, one minute off, you're doing 10 minutes, five sets of that, of straight barbell work. And then you're gonna do that part 3B where you're gonna try to kick yourself upside down for five minutes. That'll be interesting. And I don't know if I like the way that this won't make or break your ability to go on to the next stage. I kind of like the idea of it being worth 100 points and because you can't contend with everybody else, then you lose your spot because you can't hold a handstand. You know, the old Sam Briggs regional era. I liked that. The 50 point thing kind of ruins it. But I guess I also understand why they're doing it because people have been super vocal about having a weightlifting component being worth 100. But 50 points is just so... Blah. I mean, yeah, you want to win workouts. You want to finish as high as you can on the leaderboard, but it doesn't hurt as bad as a competitor if something like that were to come up. And if you weren't prepared, that could be detrimental. And it's not that way anymore. But I like the handstand hold. I like the placement of it. And I pity the athletes who have to go through that 10 minutes of torture. Some people might like it though. Some people are into that. Some people also like getting beat up. People are weird. Have fun. Get after it. Another Sam Dancer win. Sam Dancer win. Sam Dancer win. Sam Dancer win. Sam Dancer for the thrusters. Sam Dancer for president. Test four. This one is inconceivably impossible to read. What is this? on the freaking PDF document that they put on their Instagram and wherever. Then you go over to the scorecard, it's just as hard to read. Small 20, small letters, capitalize the movements. I don't know why, it's because they're not proper names and Andrew doesn't know how to write things down. Yeah, I get it, whatever. Idiot. Everyone's using 20 inches and that's great. It's about freaking time, particularly on, well, I suppose I don't like it on the burpee box jump overs, but I get it because you don't want the box going up and down. But when you're doing this workout with the buy-in and the buy-out, cash out as some people call it, of the burpee box jump overs for 20 reps, you've got these two separate two rounders. One of them's got kettlebell step ups and the other one's got kettlebell goblet squats. And those are new movements and that's what we're using the kettlebell for, I guess. And everyone, I would have thought it would have been for snatches. And I know I said kettlebell, but I meant to say kettlebell. People like to make fun of the way that I talk now. That's good, bring more of it, more comments. 
What else did he say that's stupid? Dance, monkey, dance. Those kettlebell belt goblet squats will not be hitting depth, will not be hitting hip extension, particularly in the older age groups. Also, is the Ellie Scuds really that short? That box looks incredibly high for her. That's the world's tallest 20 inch box, if that is a 20 inch box. As far as the movement goes, Interesting kettlebell step up, kettlebell goblet squat. You gotta hold on to the kettlebell or onto the handle. It can't rest on your shoulders. That's cool. Rope climbs, legless rope climbs. You got eight of them. Sure, this workout looks a little bit fast for a kettlebell goblet squat, if you ask me, but nobody asked me. But if you're at this point in the video, you're basically asking me what I think. And I think there's gonna be a lot of ugly goblet squats. Interesting thing about the kettlebell step up too is that it doesn't have to be alternating, which is interesting, but it's not gonna be as interesting as a whole bunch of men trying to figure out how to do a 20 inch burpee box jump over because they've all been doing 24 inch ones and the movement pattern is so embedded into their system at this point that they're gonna be missing left and right because they're jumping too high. But at the end of the competition, you've got a long workout, you've got a heavy workout, which is offset by a gymnastics-based workout. You've got something a little bit faster on the end. You've got an exclusively barbell workout, which tests your work capacity, and it's kind of old-school CrossFit where you're just boom, 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 barbell, barbell, barbell. And then you've got that choose-your-own-adventure style workout, or I think it's basically gonna be death by thrusters. I got no holes to poke in it, other than the fact that we gotta get rid of the shuttle runs. They gotta go. They, they, they have to go, as do whoever decides that the workouts need to be stated the way that they're stated. You've gotta get a freaking map out so that you know how to navigate the workout as you're doing it. Other than that, you're one of Rich Froning in the Masters category. You're going down, and Riller. Out. Please